Welcome, we are on our Windows 10 SSD, the same hardware, I just use a bay, a tray, pop in Linux, pop in Windows and boot up. So the SSD or the operating system can use the complete CPU, uh, all the CPU cores and all the memory and everything available for it. This video, you see it already here in this orange thing, is about no mode set. So most of the time, let's assume 80-90% of uh, the people that install Arch Linux have no issues at all. Just installs like it installs here on 12 PCs. But some of them, they get a blank screen, a black screen or something very strange looking. Anyway, we sometimes say, did you try the no mode set? So these are things that I don't have to do. So it's basically almost theoretical. But let's make a video about it so it becomes more practical. So I started Googling. That's the first thing. So no mode set Arch Linux. And then you start reading. And you did here Control F, no mode set. And then you can go and have a look. It seems that you can set the kernel. That's where we are, kernel parameters. You can set the kernel to tell them. And where is it here? Disable kernel mode setting. And then you say, okay, what is this kernel mode setting? You click on that one. So that's the same page as this one, All right? So what's this? Again, no mode set. Look for the words. And it says here, you want, you may want to disable KMS for various reasons, such as getting a blank screen or no signal error from the display when using blah, 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 and others, of course. To disable KMS, Add no mode set as a kernel parameter. See kernel parameter for more info. Along with no mode set kernel parameter for Intel graphics card, you need to add this kind of line. Or NVIDIA graphics cards, you need to add that kind of line. NVIDIA Optimus Dual Graphics, you need to add all the three parameters. It is that, that, and that. So they tell that for some of the there are hardware out there, so not my hardware, not our beta testers hardware, but some of the people have bought a system that's really not, um, yeah, where the Arch Linux kernel says, I don't know what to do with it, right? So you, you, can, have, you can have, you have the possibility to add this no mode set to the kernel parameter. So that's the kernel parameter, link open a new tab, and there are different things you can do. You can add it to, you read, read everything. So I'm, I've read it all. So I'm going straight to the place I want to be. We can add in the grub when pressing E because, well, in, in our case, it's, it's tab that I'll explain you. You have to add something behind this long line that's, that's gibberish for us. But for Linux, it's quite, uh, it knows what to boot up and all that. But we need to add, not quite in splash, that's not interesting for us, but no mode set. That's what we need to put there. And eventually more, depending on the hardware you have, maybe you add this one as well, or you add that one. Okay, fine. How do we get there? By the way, uh, Google, right? Or YouTube in this case, Arch Linux, no mode set. And this guy just explained it. It's simple as that. And it's and this is maybe might be a good one as well, but I just watched the first one. It's not that complicated. What we do is we boot up. So I made a copy paste here. So you know me cloning. Is it still active? No, it's not active yet. So you clone a template or you do a clean install, whatever. But we need to boot up, and this is the version of 1902. And it's on my second screen. So moving you to here booting up oh my mistake control r we can just still do a shortcut which is control r to reset it what you're looking at is grub grub says more or less to the bottom in the middle there press tab to edit options so when i want to add edit one of these lines i need to choose the line press tab and then you get this gibberish thing, right? All you need to type now, and that's difficult for me since I have not a QWERTY, but an AZERTY 
keyboard done no mode set and or and or all the others right and or the others to try out if that maybe is successful for you this guy in case of intel graphics card nvidia nvidia graphics card use that line in the hopes that you'll see something no blank screen and no no signal error from the display so that's what we're trying to try out in the virtual box here no mode set and it really does show you something even in virtual box if we do that no mode set then our article linux is not that nice Control f let's full screen it so we're sure that it is recurring again what it will happen is that virtualbox has now a new of the kernel gets a new parameter and it will look not that nice in virtualbox and it does recur again so that's super that's because the no mode set is done every video i've ever made the arc linux is not that small this is now a very small screen and not 1920 on 1080 which is the max of my screen so something happened something changed with this no mode set what happens we got a very very tiny uh, screen and and even my mouse i don't know if you see it in my uh, video but it's really lagging it's it's really going strangely slowly something's wrong if you uh, click it uh, if you work on it with no mode set and what we see as well is this it's just three resolutions done so no mode set is really kicking in basically that's my conclusion and now i hope with when you try out this solution that you do have something to do that you can see that's visual and that you can install Arc Linux and then later later figure out okay for my hardware i need driver x and for my hardware i need driver y where are the drivers eric the drivers are online of course where are the drivers so arch linux you have an intel fine intel graphics read arch wiki nvidia okay go and the thing is once you know you need a particular um, application it's done it's forever solved the solution that just requires some amount of patience and look up some things and maybe even look up your laptop in here and say arch linux this laptop for instance and or emd this or intel that and and people there are solutions out there just need to find them also the arch linux forum is a nice place to look at if somebody has uh, found the solution for your particular hardware but basically i do hope that this video is going to help some of you and that this no mode set is is actually going to to assist you to boot up again so to see something instead of this blank screen and no signal error that some of you have so i would say um i'll see you on on the net and i hope everything works out all right